Hey there, everybody. This is Arderimus, and I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on our progress with Project Rise. Um, what Project Rise is, is a spin-off of the Adventures in XNA uh, game engine that we were producing a long time ago. Um, it's been really uh, dramatically improved over what it was before. And I uh, just want to let you guys know that the source code is out there and available. If you want to play with it, you can download it directly from my site. Um, what it consists of is the XNA engine that we have for VB.net, as well as uh, you know some sample screens and a sample menu system. Uh, of course, you can tweak those and, and change it and play with it uh, as much as you want. It is open source, and you can change the engine itself if you want to. It's included in the project. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of some of the features that uh, we have and are still working on. Um, just on a side note, uh, I do hope to release a C sharp version as well for those who don't want to use it in uh, VB.net. So. Um, you can download that off my website, ardermis.com, um, if you want to. So, <clears throat> what we have, in a nutshell here, is in the solution we have the library, which consists of pretty much the, the project boilerplate. Um, it has, you know, asset management, uh, extensions, uh, extension methods for some of the XNA classes uh, gives us some added benefits. Uh, and you can add more as you desire. Uh, we have our classic uh, base screen. Uh, this has been rewritten and improved as well as the screen manager. The code in the screen manager has been uh, reduced a great deal by the addition of lambda expressions. So as you can see, that's a lot shorter than uh, what we had in the old tutorials. So it's uh, greatly simplified and quite a bit more efficient. Um, and all this is packaged in this library, which is a DLL file that uh, is placed in the, uh, the folder with the application that you're developing. Um, so if you're developing a game, you'll just place that in there and can kind of show you here. Actually, I'll just go to the library here. So what you'll see is this DLL file, nice and small, and that basically contains the namespace and uh, all the goodies for accessing these components. So. Um, usage is fairly simple. Uh, test screens, you know, got a lot of stuff in it. Could be written a little better, probably. It's, of course, you know, that's what it is. It's a test, and I wanted to give you sort of an, uh, sort of an overview of as many of the features as I could. Um, and like I said before, we're adding more features as we go along and trying to, you know, show you what it can do. Um, so we have a, a test screen and a uh, test menu that does some executions and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and just fire it up here for you to take a look at. Um, this is it here. And uh, something you'll notice that's different in this project is that uh, uh, Jeremy Parks has uh, really improved the input manager class. So we're capturing mouse clicks and um, other inputs as well. May have uh, gamepad inputs in the future. So hopefully, you know, what this will do is allow you guys to kind of get started building games and stuff for it, give you kind of an idea. If you've followed the old XNA tutorials, you kind of have an idea of where to start and, you know, what you can do to start playing with it. We don't really have the time to support it and you know, make sure it's working as expected for everybody. So it's kind of up to you to, to get in there and, uh, you know, try it out. Capturing scroll events, 
Um, so if I press the escape key, it brings up a menu. I have a music sample uh, that you can play. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Just a little something I made in uh, LMMS. And there's a test for toggling menu items. The gray one is disabled and if I enable it it becomes active and then I can click that. Um, you can change your window size, toggle the full screen. Actually I don't think I have these ones in the download available just yet. They're pretty simple to add in if you want to play with them. Uh, VSync, you notice my FPS counter up here in the corner uh, it's it looks a little bit low and that's just because of my screen capture software um, this should uh, hit 60 and max out and stay there pretty much most of the time if you're coding efficiently if you turn it off it uh, no longer control no longer allows uh, x and a to control your frame rate so you get max frames when you do that usually not the best idea you know you don't want to be um, spending all your uh, processor cycles on rendering things, you know, it's faster than your eyes can even see it go. It's best to devote that the extra uh, resources to executing your game code and stuff. So 60 is a good max there, just lock it in with the vSync. Uh, that's enabled by default. So, you know, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, you can get in there and kind of look at how we're doing this. You know, there's a lot of uh, cleanup stuff we still need to do, but I just want to pack as many features into one little screen as I could and one menu. It looks kind of complex, but you can kind of at least look through the code and get the idea of how it's being uh, run. So, that's uh, mainly what I wanted to show you here. Um, just go out to my website and download that if you feel like playing with it. I can't promise that it will work for everybody. You do need the uh, uh, XNA framework installed in Visual Studio. Uh, you need the Windows Phone software development kit 7.1. Um, anyway, I wish you all well and uh, hopefully I'll have some more goodies and exciting updates for you in the future if we can find the time to keep chugging away at this. Uh, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.